Hey folks, we're going to start off with something aesthetically spectacular. We have a bit of good news to share, and then we're going to slide into a little bit of science a bit more deeply than we did this morning. First of all, as you're watching here, that solar tornado, the plasma filament vortex on the northern polar crown did erupt. It was absolutely spectacular, fantastic eruption, uh, something beautiful here in the afternoon. Bit of good news. Uh, Colorado has recently been very disappointing with some of their laws, uh, the laws being put into place, some of the executive orders from the governor. Our governor is a joke here in Colorado, but yesterday it felt like a miracle happened. They were trying to ban assault weapons, which basically they meant anything with a detachable magazine. Completely ridiculous. But sheriffs showed up from all over, tons of people testified, and the law got struck down. Um, in the main article, you might see somebody that you know online. Not sure if any of the observers here uh, are aware of who this is. This is Ava Flanell. If you do know who she is, you know she lives in Colorado Springs. She happens to be about two miles away from me. We've become pretty good friends this year. And so for some finally, finally some good news from the legislature here in Colorado, I want to thank Ava uh, thank all the sheriffs and thank everybody who came out to help protect our Second Amendment rights. If you don't know Ava, put some links down there below. You can check her out. Uh, now, one of the top stories this morning was this one. Uh, it was linking the 100,000-year climate cycle of glaciation, deglaciation, uh, to the geomagnetic field. And if you read the paper this morning uh, and if you just didn't really process what we were saying uh, in the morning show, in the paper, they try to blame this common cycle of Earth's magnetic field somehow as being a result of the climate changes on that time scale. It's completely nonsense. Um, pretty much all of the papers about geomagnetic excursions, whether that's Le Champ or Gothenburg, they're all talking about how the geomagnetic field changes the climate. We have tons of videos on this. We have books on this. This really suggests that there is something even on the 100,000 year scale that happens with Earth's geomagnetic field, and that is what causes the climate change. Now, what's interesting is we are not only coming up on the 12,000 year geomagnetic excursion, but this is the 100,000 year cycle event as well, which takes us out of this nice, warm, temperate interglacial back into the glacial period of Earth. And so I'm going to be spending some time over the coming days, probably a couple weeks, doing some deeper dives on a lot of the stuff and seeing what kind of tie-ins uh, I can find in some of the data, the observational geological record, to further fortify uh, this concept that it's not just the 12,000-year cycle, but Earth's magnetic field plays a big role in this 100,000-year cycle as well. So we got to watch something pretty. Great news out of Colorado, finally from the legislature after it's been a very disappointing couple of years. Uh, check out Ava's links down below. And as if we didn't have enough concern with Earth's magnetic field impacting the biosphere and everything from space radiation being allowed to more deeply penetrate into the atmosphere to the climate changes resulting therefrom, uh, we got another one here. I'll see you guys in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.